This is this is different, right? There are projectile characters who uh, they, they they throw physical items at you that you can catch. You can play around with them that way. But Mii Fit is unique in the sense that she doesn't work like that, right? You know, you can't catch these sun salutations and throw them back unless you're like villagers. So we'll see how he's able to play around that. And already he's off stage. It's not good for him. But oh wait, he didn't even make it back. Oh, he gets hit though. Oh uh, yeah, no. Nah, that's I, this is going to be the tale of this story. Numbers is going to force the fight to constantly be at the ledge. We Fit doesn't have to respect Ness on the ledge. Atari not looking to respect those kneecaps, though. Yeah, he's like, well, break them. Can we? <laughs> Give me that. Oh, and now Atari going to go ahead and block that Sun Salutation. And he uses the PK Fire to stop the volleyball, and I like that a lot. It's unique usage of, oh my goodness, he didn't just let that rip. But Atari actually doing a pretty good job bringing it back despite how early he lost that first stock. Tries to get the down smash right there a little bit too slow, but still. That's oh. exactly what I'm talking to you about. Mm, that's a lot to chew. I'll be honest with you, son, though. I didn't even think it was going to happen. I just brought it up because it could have happened. <laughs> but here we are. The sun sent back directly to sender, and John melted from the nearest superstar in this galaxy. Percentages are low, and we're back at these uh, one-stock situations. Yeah, definitely hopping the launch star out of the universe for that stock. But you can see Atari sitting pretty. I mean, John wasn't even at that high percent. I think it was around like 80 or 90 when he got hit by that uh, reversal. So with that said, you know just how dangerous it is for John to throw this out. But we might also just see John opt to not use it at all. He can constantly threaten with some salutation and never use it. And I feel like that has some merit behind it. But then at that point, he's using one of his key pressure right. tools. And he really can't afford to give Atari any room to breathe because we've already seen he can go toe to toe with everyone at bat with him. Yeah, a little bit of a risky double jump forward there from Atari there. Couldn't really avoid the sun salutation. And it's going to be a question as Atari has to make a conscious decision. Am I going to reflect it or am I going to try to absorb it? And looking at his percent, absorbing it might be attractive, but we know if he reflects <laughs> it, it will kill. It will kill. So you can see what type of gambler this man is. I wish I could see what kind of DI this man had. That was a little suspect. It's just a little. Yeah. But hey, how about this kill again? Let me see it again. Ooh. Boom, out of here, out of the box. Where are you at? And that was, you could tell it wasn't a reaction. It was quite clearly a read on, you're going to do this now, I'm going to let it rip. I like how he choreographed that he was going to do it, and then he did it. But the up air killing, I guess at 122, looked, that makes yeah, more sense. Yeah, that's pretty convincing. I don't think he could have survived that. I'm just saying, it is Wii Fit's up air. It's not a good up air. So smart from John. Like, you, you tank the... Uh, the PKT2, and then you're just cooling because of the, the way the hit lag works just doesn't travel the full distance. And like, he didn't even have to like respect the hit stun duration. He legit could have just like hit the bolt. Right. Like you can just do that. You can just hit PK Thunder 1, never let it reach PK Thunder 2. Ness just drops there and you take like 4% for your efforts. Like, you take your knocks, but that's a whole stop. Nonetheless, we got Smashville for the pick into game two. And I feel like we're going to be seeing much we saw into game one, a very unorthodox battle going back and forth between these two. Yeah, we've actually caught quite a bit of anti-airs from Atari on John Numbers and with the up air, been able to bait out a few air dodges as well. But this time around, since we're not going to see Atari like he lose his stock as quickly as he did last game, he should be able to have a bit more of a... I don't want to say honest, fair game, but one that's a little more what we're used to, right? It goes down to hundreds ish of percent, and then they convert that one. Ooh, there it is. Mm, yummy, that. delicious. Give me that. was like 30% he got back there. That's some good vitamin C right there. Take your vitamins. Ooh. He actually just. Okay, so that whole sequence was just a whole lot of nest shenanigans. First off, the win box from PSI Magnet pushed John back. Move oh into position God, for the tip of uh, wow. down tilt trip. Yeah, it doesn't quite ride up the stage as he probably thought he was, or maybe just didn't get the angle that he wanted. But this time he's a lot closer to closing out the stock from Doc Numbers. Uh, if he's able to get a grab by the ledge, a back throw will for sure kill. Um, but a back air, nair, he has a lot of options here to really push John into the blast zone. I just want to see Atari try and contest oh more at the ledge. Like, it's dangerous, yes, but the reward for it is so immense, especially while Numbers is chilling at these bleeding percentages. Yeah, oh my god, gets a clean, like, 30% off of that one. Tries to absorb it, let's go too late. It's causing 
it's harder to get baited a little bit now, right? While he could have potentially recovered 20 to 30 some odd health, instead he's taken 20% more. But, Plays well, back, back here, yeah, you know. Ness, he, he doesn't like to look at you very much. Now he's closing his eyes, he's waving his fingers. He's trying to look for the magic tricks out here. But John wants no tricks up anyone's sleeves. Oh, easy. Yeah, this is easy. about to happen. And it's hard as Ness there to find a good spot to PKTT as well. Yeah, at that point, you're pretty much out of options. You're sitting there defenseless. You're waiting for your opponent to choose an option. And John, of course, putting the option to stomp his head right into the ground. And that's going to be 2-0. That's kind of why you don't see many Nesses these days. But shout out to Atari for bringing the Psychic this top far 48. in. 48. Maybe even top like 32. Deep into it. Yeah, yeah we we're pretty far in the losers now. We're getting really close to the top. I don't even know. We might have even gone through. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, we, let, we let's go about the bracket because we, we might bracket. have. Uh, I don't know if we have any guaranteed top eighters already. We might have already gone through the winner side for qualifiers. Um, so we're yeah. taking a look at things. So and our have, top eight. Yeah, let's go know. ahead, Flambo. Okay, so first off, in the winner side, we're gonna have a light being the first top eight winner side qualifier. Pug West is the next one. Mars and Kool-Aid. But what's going on in the loser's bracket, Hangman? So that loser's bracket, Rafi X and Kuma, which we just heard from the uh, boisterous voice of Helper, uh, is going to be the next match we've got up. I'm looking forward to that one. We just saw the results of John Numbers and Atari bringing John to the loser side top eight, alongside with HO3K Gen and... Dark Wizzy has to fight the, the winner. Winner of Craft is in Scott. 